Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Skype tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix any webcam issues you're having in Skype. So this can be very useful if for some reason your webcam is not working correctly or it's not working at all when you try to use it with Skype. So in this video, we'll go through really three different areas of trying to fix your webcam issues. We'll start out first with some basics, some things you can do that hopefully fix the webcam. After that, we'll go into the settings in Windows 10 and try to fix your issues there. And if those steps all fail, we will do one last step at the end that will hopefully fix your webcam issues. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the basics for fixing any webcam issues you're having with Skype. You start out with first unplugging your webcam and then plugging it back in if it is an external webcam. Sometimes it could be an issue with your computer just not registering the webcam when you plug it in. The next basic fix for your webcam in Skype is going to be to close other unnecessary applications. You will only be able to use your webcam in one application on a Windows 10 computer. So if another application is using it, maybe Google Chrome or Twitch, something like that is using your webcam, it will not work in Skype. So go ahead and close all those applications in the background. After that, if you have an external webcam, try plugging it into a different USB port. Maybe that USB port is broken or the drivers on it are messed up. So try plugging your webcam into a different USB port and see if that helps. And then finally, if you've not already done this, after trying the first three steps, go ahead, restart your computer and see if that fixes it for you. All right, so now that we've gone through the basics for fixing any webcam issues you're having with Skype, let's go ahead and open up the settings in Windows 10 to try to go in there and make sure that Skype has access to your webcam. So what we need to do is go down into the bottom left and right click the Windows Start button. So right click it, and in the menu that comes up, go to settings. So select settings. Once the Windows settings are open, go down and select apps right here. This will bring up all the applications installed on our computer. And we need to do is go through the list until we see Skype. These should be in alphabetical order, so you should be able to find it in the S's. All right, so once you find Skype, go ahead and select it, and then go to advanced options. This will bring us to the advanced options for Skype on our computer. Under app permissions right here, we want to make sure the camera is enabled. Now, if you're using your microphone, you want to make sure that that is enabled as well. So go ahead and ensure both of those are on. After that, we're going to scroll down until we get to the bottom where it says reset. And we're going to first select repair. So go ahead and select repair. This will trigger Windows 10 to look at Skype and make sure that it is installed correctly and also clean out some of the cache. Now, after you do that and you test your webcam in Skype and it's still not working, go ahead and select the reset option. This will delete some of the data in the app, so you might have to log back in or something like that. But after you reset, if it is an issue with Skype and not your computer, this should fix it. So go ahead and select reset if selecting repair and turning on camera did not work. So now that we've gone through the Windows settings, the next option we're gonna do is going to involve the registry editor in Windows 10. So make sure you follow the steps very carefully so that nothing messes up on your computer. Perform these steps at your own risk. All right, so what we're gonna do is go down to the Windows Start button again, right click it, and then go to Run. Once the Run window opens up, in Open, we're gonna type Reg Edit. So R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And again, check the description. I'll have all this information down there in case you get lost. Once you have that in there, select OK. Now what we need to do is just go through the folders to find the correct folder. So first you wanna make sure you're under local machine, then software, then go under Microsoft, open up Microsoft using the little arrow right here. Then under Microsoft, scroll all the way down to the bottom and then expand Windows Media Foundation. Under Windows Media Foundation, we wanna expand platform. And then what we need to do here is right click platform. This is under the Windows Media Foundation, right click it and then go to new. Make sure in new, we select D word 32 bit. Now the version of your Windows operating system, either 32 or 64 bit does not matter here. Make sure you pick D word 32 bit value. This will create a new file under platform. We wanna make sure that the name of this new file is enable frame service mode. So I'll have this in the description. You can just copy that. What we need to do on the new file is just rename it. And you can do that if you've already selected out by right clicking it and going to rename and then just pasting or typing in enable frame service mode with no spaces and just like this. And now that we've named the file, double click it and make sure that the value data right here is set to zero and select okay. So the next step really just depends on if you're running a 32-bit or a 64-bit 
version of the Windows operating system. And we can quickly find this out real quick, leave everything open in the registry editor by going down to the Windows Start button, right-clicking it, then going to Settings. In Settings, type About. And then one of the options that comes up in the drop-down should be see if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit version of Windows. Select that. In the device specifications below, you should see system type, and it should say either 64-bit operating system or 32-bit. If you have a 32-bit, you are done with the registry editor. You can close it. But if you have the 64-bit, what we need to do is go back up into the file directory on the left side, and under software, all the way at the bottom of software, you should see WOW 6432 node. Select that, then scroll down again and select Microsoft. Under Microsoft, we'll scroll down again to the bottom and you should see Windows Media Foundation. Go ahead and expand that. And then under here, you'll see platform again. Go ahead, do the same thing we did. So we'll right click platform under Windows Media Foundation and we'll go to new. We'll create a new D word 32 bit value. We'll name it the same thing that we named the other one. Then double click it, make sure that the value data is zero and select OK. And now we can close the registry editor. And just for safe measure, go ahead and restart your computer and then test to see if your webcam issues have been solved. All right, so those are three different ways to fix any webcam issues you're having while using Skype. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Windows 10 or Skype tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.